My primary reaction is that we're done with this part of the process. It's been incredibly difficult and painful to constantly for 16 and a half months be reminded of the horrid details of how we lost Aaron. As far as the sentence, I think um, given the way Judge Butler decided in the in the Holford case, I was kind of expecting this. Um, of course, I'm a little disappointed as Aaron's mother um, to see it in the minimum of the range. But that's why the parents don't get to decide. I mean, I trust in Judge Butler's wisdom. <laughs> and again, um, what happens to Luke, as I said in my statement, depends entirely on him, um, whether he'll serve the minimum and get parole or be there in 30 years or you know, commit further transgressions that will extend the time is, is up to him. And the reality is I'm not going to spend a lot of time following that. I am going to turn my attention to my family um, and to Aaron's legacy, which is being celebrated through his fund, his memorial fund, and the projects that we've contributed to. And I'm really grateful to everyone at the DA's office, as well as to everyone um, on the police department for their heroic efforts um, to see this thing through and to help us navigate this crazy journey um, that no one really ever expects or should have to go through. And I feel a huge sense of relief that we, number one, didn't have to go through trials because that would have been even more painful and drawn out and that each of these men will be out of society for a while at least because I think that what they did was terrible and it implies that they're a danger to the community so I think in recognition of that 30 and 56 years are long terms especially when you're 19 and 20 so I I, I don't know if I think justice was done but I'm okay with it I'm, I'm comfortable with it and again I feel a huge sense of relief for myself and for everyone in